a three gram bullet traveling at 280 meters per second hits a tree trunk. It penetrates the trunk by five centimeters before coming to a stop. We want to find the average force between the bullet and the tree trunk. In this problem, we're given a few things. The mass of the bullet is 3 grams, but that's not the standard unit. So if we want it to be in standard unit, we have to change this to 0 0.003 kilograms because 1 kilogram equals to 1,000 grams. The initial velocity of the bullet is 280 meters per second. And then, of course, it gets stopped. So that means the final velocity is 0. It enters the tree trunk by 5 centimeters. So the displacement is 5 centimeters. But over here, it's the meters. Our standard unit is meters. So if we change 5 centimeters to meters, that's 0 0.05 meters. Because 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So 1 centimeter is 0 0.01 meter. And what we want to find is the the force between the trunk and the bullet. So we want to find the net force on the bullet, which is the force that stops the bullet. There are different ways to solve this problem. We want the force, and we have mass, which means uh, we can find the acceleration first, and then do F equals to ma. If this force is the average force, that means that we can treat this bullet's motion as constant acceleration motion. That constant acceleration is the average acceleration. And since uh, for constant acceleration motion, we're supposed to know three things. We do have three things here. One, two, three. Those three things. So we can certainly use those kinematics equations to find the average acceleration. And then just do F equals to ma, and we'll have the force. Or what we can do is that we can use the conservation of energy, the work energy theorem. Since we're doing work unit, that's what I'm going to do now. So the work done by the net force would equal to the change in kinetic energy. The work done by the net force will be the net force times the displacement. The displacement would be 0 0.05 centimeters to the right. And the, we want to cosine the angle between the two. Now the net force, which way do you think the net force goes? When the bullet comes in this way and slows down, that means uh, the acceleration is in the opposite direction. The acceleration, the net force that stops the bullet must go to the left. So the net force goes to the left. The angle between the two is 180 degrees. And this equals the change in kinetic energy, and that is the final minus the initial. Of course, since the bullet stops at the end, the final kinetic energy is zero. So this is the negative initial kinetic energy, one half m times the initial velocity 280 squared. So we have the net force times 0 0.05 times cosine 180 negative 1 equals to negative 1 half times 0 0.003 times 280 squared. Of course the negative will cancel here and then we'll be able to find the magnitude of the net force which is 2,352 newtons. So we do expect to have a large force, right? Although we are not looking for this over here, but uh, if I find this with a negative, 117.6 joules. Now, of course, if I cancel the negative sign, the negative will be gone also. So the work done by the net force will be negative 117.6 joules because to stop the bullet, you have to take all that kinetic energy away. If you're taking energy away, the work you have to do is negative. And then all that is the initial kinetic energy, one half mv squared. So to take all that energy away, this is how much work you have to do, negative 117.6 joules. Now in this problem, 
The force I'm asking you to find, of course, is the average force between the bullet and the trunk, which is not exactly the net force, because the net force on the bullet will be two of those, the mg and the force from the tree trunk. But uh, in this problem, I did not bother to take the weight of the bullet into consideration. As you can see, because the mass is 0 0.003 kilograms, the weight is only 0 0.03 newtons, which is uh, very small compared to the force from the tree trunk. So in this case, the mg is negligible. This kind of problem can also show up in various scenarios. For example, I can give you the mass of a baseball, the speed of the ball, and how much my hand has to move back to stop the ball when I catch it. From all that information, you can find the average force from me to stop the ball. Again, just like the force on the bullet from the tree trunk, the bullet or the ball moves to the right while the force from my hand goes to the left. So we get cosine 180 in the work equation. In this process, we do negative work, taking energy away from the ball or the bullet to slow it down to a stop. I can also give you the initial velocity VO of a car, the length of the skid marks on the ground before the car comes to a stop. And I can ask you to find the coefficient of the kinetic friction because the, the car is skidding, so that's why it's the kinetic friction. Okay, so I can ask you to find this mu k between the tires and the road. So it's similar to this one. To find mu k, the only equation we have for mu k is friction equals to mu k times the normal force. So for this car on a level road or embanked road, a level embanked road, the normal force would be the mg of the car. And then we can do, similar to this, the work done by the net force would be the net force. Now in this case, the net force is the friction. So this net force is the friction. Friction times the displacement. The displacement will be the length of the skid marks. And then the friction is the opposite direction to the displacement. So we get cosine 180. And that equals to the change in kinetic energy. Again, the the car comes to a stop at the end, so this equals to the negative initial kinetic energy, negative one-half m times the initial speed squared. We don't know the mass for the car, but that's okay, because hopefully the mass will cancel. So if we plug in the initial velocity, plug in the skid mark length, we will be able to find the friction in terms of m. Once you plug in the friction in terms of m, the m will cancel on both sides, and therefore, you can find the mu k between the tires and the road.